Hey, it's another new episode, and as promised, we're going to open with a little bit of grinding, something that's fairly AFK so I can get some stream work done. Uh, after that, we will do more quests that are prerequisites for Recipe for Disaster, so I think that includes the Golem, and another quest that's a sequel to Demon Slayer. But first we're going to catch some fish. I'm going to try to get to 50 fishing. We're at 49 right now. At 50, I might keep going for a little bit, depending on where I am in my work. Um, I think that's when we unlock swordfish, which I would very much like to catch, so hop to it. God, it's like every fishing location is taken. Is there anywhere most people aren't going for lobsters? So one of the things I like to work on while I'm fishing is uh, editing episode 7. <laughs> you've made it this far, just know that I was editing episode 7 at the time. I was recording like episode 27. That's how slow it is. Um, but anyway, in order to do that, I need to remux my FLV recordings, and I need OBS to do that, so I can't keep recording and fishing while I'm remuxing. But it, from your perspective, it'll just be a short break. I'll pop out, pop right back in, timer will pick up where it was. I wait till I finish this inventory of lobsters, I guess. Alright, so we are going to take this break to do the remuxing, but I'm waiting on a file transfer to complete, so I might do one more round of uh, lobsters first. Super close to 52 cooking, as well as 50 fishing. The more cooking XP we can get, the better. That's going to let us eventually finish Recipe for Disaster. I think that's the highest skill threshold that we need to get. We might be able to boost at like 65 cooking, but still. Alright, my file transfer is done. Before I take my break, I'm going to catch the 10 more fish to hit 50 fishing. Hopefully that'll be enough to get to 52 cooking. But I don't even know why I'm talking about it, because from your perspective, no time will pass. There's fishing 50. What an exciting level. Now try harpooning swordfish. Gonna do that after the break. Let me uh, cook this lobster and hopefully that bumps me over to 52 cooking. Is it possible I'll burn every lobster? No. Okay. Cooking 52. Botanical pie. I'll cook the rest of these. Dump them and then we'll be right back. We are in Falador Agility Course territory for fishing and cooking, so I shouldn't be expecting great strides. Alright, uh, Harpoon? Harpoon. And uh, I'll be back in a few. Back already. Time to go try out Swordfish. Looks so like I get uh, Tuna as well as Swordfish. I can't guarantee one versus the other, but, you know, whatever. So it turns out the catch rate on uh, swordfish is kind of garbo. Caught, first of all, I haven't caught very much of anything, tuna or swordfish. But only two out of, what, 12? I guess there's a third one. Well, I really don't want to go back to lobsters. I kind of want the extra healing from the swordfish. 30% catch rate on uh, swordfish. Just double check how much tuna heals. It might actually, tuna might heal more than lobster. If it does, then I think this is fine. Oh no, it's a little bit less, it's 10, but not terrible. Also, I think I burn it less. He says, immediately triggering multiple burns in a row. Oh my God. <laughs> so we'll stick on this for a bit. I'm gonna see if I can get, uh, it, today's a Thursday been trying to publish these videos on Fridays or Saturdays, and I've been bad. Have not been doing any editing this week, so I'm going to try to get episode 7 edited while I do fishing. Once I run out of fishing, once I get fishing to 62, I don't really have much reason to level it anymore. It's the highest that I need to get to the quest cape. So, I'll have to find some other AFK thing to do. Maybe woodcutting? Woodcutting is pretty AFK, and we need to get, like, woodcutting 70. The <laughs> question is, am I going to run out of AFK tasks 
to skill in order to unlock the skill cape. Uh, am I going to run out of those before I finish publishing all the videos? Probably. The plus side, harpooning is way faster than lobster potting. Like, I think my XP per hour is quite a bit higher. Might actually hit 51 fishing pretty quickly. So I forgot I did this. You've already seen this by now, of course. But episode 7 was when I first discovered that rendering could take up to 8 or 9 hours. And then it could get in the way of me continuing to play the game. Because it was still rendering with like several hours to go. And I woke up in the morning and I was like, but I really want to play! So I ended up recording the game uh, on the gaming PC, which doesn't have access to my stream PC's mic. Or really any of the other things that I can use with the stream PC. So it has uh, game audio, but it has no commentary. And what I did at the time, I'm like, Future Mars, I can handle this. I'm just going to you know, take down some notes. I'm going to say, at this timestamp, you should say Magic 53. And at this timestamp, you should be like, oh, I got an insult Calphite head and blah, 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 blah. That sounded great way back when I recorded it. Now it's a huge pain in the ass because I have to go through and mark all those timestamps and record me saying the things. Hopefully it sounded seamless to you, distant, distant, distant future viewer, when you watched episode 7. It was not seamless to record. Ooh, I got a clue bottle. Oh, I'm like... What's up with that? I keep getting all these clues. Like, oh, right. I couldn't get clues before because I had three of them banked that I wasn't using. Oh, God. It's so painful. I guess if you were watching in the old episodes, probably didn't see those clue scrolls banked. It probably didn't hurt you every second. But if you happen to notice them somewhere in the bank, it, I'm sure it was very painful. It pains me. I should probably just knock out this clue scroll. take a break from the work I'm doing right now just to make sure that... Uh... Well, I'll finish... Um finish these last two fish, I'll cook them up, bank them. We'll go do this clue just so I continue to have the chance to catch more clues when I'm a big dummy. And then we'll get back to fishing while I work on, on this project here. Wow, this is super lucky. The clue, the very next clue step is like right next door, maybe four run energy away. It's up the stairs. And there's the casket. Wow, easiest clue scroll ever. 4,767 coins. Right on. Staff of your body rune, black plate body. Neat. Back to fishing. Fun little curiosity, though, to have a two clue steps, like, right next to each other like that. Oh, I got another clue bottle. God, huh. Don't think about how many clue scrolls I lost, right? Bob's Brilliant Axes. Ooh, Bronze Axe and Leather Boots. I get a chance to use my stash for the first time. It marks that I did have a stash unit there. All right, I'm going to do that real quick. Let me cook this fish that I have. Well, this makes fishing a little bit interesting because it means I'm breaking up the action every so often to do clues since it really doesn't make sense to bank clues. I wish you could maybe bank a small number of them. Bronze Axe and Leather Boots. Oops, don't do that. Never, ever, ever do that. Bronze Axe... Good on me not throwing the shit out. Other boots. Cool. Lumberage, right? Look at it. It highlights your stash for you, too. That's very convenient. Now I saw a race spawn. To buy a pewter spoon. Weirdo. Deposit items in the stash unit. Fantastic. I gotta update that in my spreadsheet really quick that I did this one. Do that while I head to the next clue, which is... Chef's Hat Red Cape in Verrock. have a chef's hat. Do I have a red cape? Oh, they might sell a red cape in that building. Okay. Well, I'll go grab the chef's hat. Fortunately, I have an extra one, because I need another one to get into the cooking guild. I don't know why I would want to go in there, but just to be prepared. I don't actually need Sanders Lady. Excited to actually start using my stash kits. I see those being super useful. Red cape. God damn it. Oh, I do this so often. I need to make sure I'm always carrying... Well, not always, but whenever I go to grab my runes and stuff, I should grab money. Maybe I'll move my money into the runes tab, because I'm always... Whenever I prep to go anywhere, I always grab at least enough runes to emergency teleport, so they're in the tab already. I'm just a dumbass. Uh, I guess let me put them right next to the most critical runes, I guess. There. 
Now it's less likely that I'll screw it up. I almost didn't take the quest out with me. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I guess let me grab a spade too, just in case. There's a red cape. It's furry. Loser says what? What? I've been given a new clue. Cool. It's so red. The village barbarians. I'm the one who guards the village from up high. Top the tower on the east side of barbarian village. Okay. I'm actually super enjoying clue scrolls. Um, I think I can grind easy clue scrolls now that my thieving is pretty high and I have the uh, the rogues outfit. It sounds like you can pickpocket ham dudes and they have like a 1 in 16 easy clue drop or something like that. I'd have to get pretty fast at running the clues. I'd probably end up filling every single um, stash unit. Easy seems like it has the most possible clue steps. Top the tower on the east side. Oh, I can go up another step. What? Well done. You obtained a casket. 3,834 coins. Black scimitar. Blue wizard row. Steel longsword. I'm actually going to stop alking stuff. I need to... I think what the plan is going to be... Um, we're going to deposit everything out of an abundance of caution. And then when it comes time to clean up the bank when we hit that 750 number, I'm going to just wiki everything. We're going to do it really, really slow. It's probably going to take like an hour. Wiki every item and then stash the ones that I know can be stashed or otherwise put them somewhere where I'm like, don't, don't ditch this. This is important. I might be able to retire one of my tabs, have one that's like actual junk, throw this in here to throw it in here versus one that's uh, possibly needed later for a clue. Anywho, back to fishing. Fishing 51, looking good in the hood. Make sure I'm still fishing. Cooking 53. Fantastic. You now cook lava eel. Okay. I'm going to end up with a decent number of swordfish out of all this. I feel like swordfish can become my difficult content, like quest slash bosses food, and then I can start using my stash of um, tuna and lobsters as bullshit top-off heels, like from pickpocketing. I was starting to get worried. Part of the reason we're doing this here is because last time we did pickpocketing, I was running really low on food. I wanted to just be able to pickpocket without thinking about it. Yeah, it'd be nice to get to 100 cooked swordfish. That might, I might make that my like soft goal here. Or a tuna on your screen. Seriously, where are the tuna? Am I blind? They're in the wrong tab. Way to go, me. So I should just cook the raw tuna. Put this up with the other ones. God damn it! I've been depending on the sound in my ear of me stopping fishing, and there was someone harpooning literally right next to me, and it was playing the audio. So I'm like, oh, I'm still fishing. Let me try to hop worlds and find someone that's not doing... Okay, perfect. <laughs> I wonder how close I am to a full inventory. Fuck. Oh my god, there's literally someone who just world hopped right on top of me. Can I force them to world hop? I was able to play world hop chicken when I was doing that uh, teak tree. Did not successfully scare this guy away. Shoot. Back on the world hopping train. I'm super dependent on absolute silence while fishing. It lets me, like, not even have to look at the game in my peripheral vision, just listen for the splash noise. You know, this hasn't occurred to me before, but something I really like about RuneScape is that healing is kind of a bitch and a half, pain in the ass to come by, and that fishing and cooking are incredibly relevant skills because there isn't some spell that you can just cast that heals you to full. That might change a little bit of the end game, but it's also interesting because it interfaces with the whole 28 inventory slots thing, right? Where it's like... You can sacrifice carrying capacity to effectively increase your maximum health for an encounter. Um, and it's it's basically the same as increasing your maximum health. It's, it's basically determining how, how many points of damage you're allowed to take in an encounter. 
because you can't stack food, at least for the most part. There's no such thing as infinite healing. Um, I've never played a game that's quite like that before. I almost always hate consumables. I hate healing potions. I want to get, you know, the regeneration ability that makes me heal super fast on my own, or the spell that lets me heal with resources that I can regenerate over time. But that doesn't exist in RuneScape, and I think it works because it makes, you know, several skills that would otherwise be useless actually be pretty interesting. Anyway, just thought of that. Running up on stream time here. Um, I'm going to try to... Well, okay. I don't know why I... Uh, consistently, I come in in the middle of an episode and I'm like, I don't know, guys. i got to take a break soon. But you literally don't care. From your perspective, no time passes. I click stop on the live split timer and it starts again. It's magic. I guess I'm still thinking like this is live and <laughs> not pre-recorded. Uh, well, anyway... I'm going to try to knock out 52 fishing. I've got about 30 minutes before I really need to shut down everything down and make sure that I get ready for stream. Um, and I think that Rune Light is predicting it's going to take 15 minutes, so I should be okay. As long as the like rate of catching doesn't significantly slow for some reason. We'll hit 52 fishing. That will probably actually be the fishing stopping point for now, for this episode. Um, I've been doing this for about two hours, I want to say. I think after getting 52 fishing, we're going to bounce out and do some more Recipe for Disaster quests, namely the Golem, the sequel to uh, Demon Slayer, and a few of the other ones that are required to rescue the Lumberch Guide. So I think, I think we can get to six out of eight on Recipe for Disaster this episode. That shouldn't be too rough. I don't know if we can do 7 and 8. I should look into that and see what the other two requirements are. Yeah, 6 out of 8 is going to have to be the stopping point for Recipe for Disaster for now. We'll come back to it way after that. Uh, it'll be nice, though. We'll get another gloves upgrade, which is good for just about every uh, discipline we're currently playing with. Because after that, I need 70 cooking. I need to do an extremely scary quest called Monkey Madness. Um, so I ended up going down this big rabbit hole. I think I mentioned it when I brought up the Apatol teleport. Like, okay, so Apatol teleport requires recipe for disaster. Fine. Oh, wow, this sounds nuts. Well, one of the things I need to do is Monkey Madness 1. Monkey Madness 1 seems like it's very likely to kill me in a lot of different ways. Um, I, I actually do qualify for Monkey Madness 1 now, so I could do that, even though I won't be able to finish recipe for disaster until we get to 70 cooking. Uh, so... I don't know. We'll we'll have to find out. Um, cross that bridge when we get to it. It might make sense to do recipe for recipe for disaster five and six today. Uh, in this episode, wrap that stuff up, and then next episode attempt monkey madness and be willing to bail out if shit gets dark. Um, but if I guess I think if I end up finishing Monkey Madness, then I should just go all in and say, you know what, fuck it, let's get let's get cooking to seventy. Although it looks like it's technically boostable that we don't actually have to get cooking to seventy. We can get it to sixty-five, which is a lot more reasonable. That's twelve levels. Uh, so if I go hard on it, I guess I should also look into cooking and see like. What quests do I have remaining that award cooking XP? Are there any that give a shitload of cooking XP, and could I do those to skip a few of these Falador agility course levels between 53 and 65? I'll start researching that as we wrap up fishing for today. Fishing 52, and that's a good stopping point for now. Go ahead and split the clock, and we'll be back later. We'll go ahead and cook. Well, I'll probably fish enough to get to 54 cooking. It's only 26 more fish. Uh, but then we'll wrap and start doing recipe for disaster prerequisites. See you then. Hey, we are back. I am going to finish getting that cooking level, and then we're going to do recipe for disaster. I think the quests are uh, the Golem, Gertrude's Cat, and the Shadow of the Storm. So get hyped for that. See you soon.
54 cooking. Chef's delight. Right on. I'm gonna finish up cooking these um, swordfish. We're gonna start the golem, followed by Gertrude's cat, and then Shadow of the Storm. That's right. Okay, looks like I need soft clay. Just gonna involve some shenanigans. Is there a water source here? There is. Got so many fucking buckets. Oh, it's comical. All right. Wait, water source is in here. It's up here. Is it sink in the back, maybe? Probably heavy as shit, right? Yeah, three. Buckets of water. Need a pickaxe. Need some teleport runes. Bring my money, I guess, just in case. All right, so it looks like there's some in Remington. Clay, that is. Guessing it's the brown one? Copper. Maybe the tan one? Clay. All right. That's nice. Let me convert all of them. Appreciate that. Okay, I need a vial, pestle and mortar. Pyrus can be bought. And Alcarid. Shante passes, which is basically just money. Desert set. Okay. Well, let me go to Lumbridge and I can start moving this stuff. Phoenix feather can be obtained during quest. Okay. Oh, there's a fairy fairy ring. That's cool. Don't need this shit. Don't need this. Some mortar. Isle. Let me grab the drama staff. Okay, this all looks great. I guess I'll get a shield also. Could buy this papyrus. East of the gem trader. Oh, well, there we go. Talk to Ali Morsain. Hey, welcome back to El Karid. Hello to you too. My name is Ali Morsain, greatest salesman in the world. What are you selling? In that papyrus. There we go. I get some water skins. Karidian headpiece and fake beard. It's funny. Bring the water skins, it's probably fine. Okay. Now, if I wanted to use a fairy ring, Carpet to Shante Pass. Fairy ring bip. Fairy bick. It only marks the ones that I've already used. DLQ. Spirits of Eld. Oh, here it is. How much hassle would be there for me to walk there? I think less hassle than it would be for me to go all the way to a fairy ring. So we'll start walking. Broken Clay Golem. Damage severe. Oh, you look so sad. Tasking complete. Shall I try to repair you? Repairs needed. You can use the clay on him, maybe? Apply clay to the golem's wounds. The clay begins to harden in the hot sun. Fix the golem's legs. Golem is nearly whole. Clay golem. Damage repaired. Looks like clay face. I'm pretty sure they just put a helmet on a human character, right? That's why his eyes look like that. Body and mind are fully healed. Now I must complete my task by defeating the great enemy. What enemy? Great demon. It broke through from its dimension to attack the city. Golem army was created to fight it. Many were destroyed, but we drove the demon back. The demon is still wounded. You must open the portal so that I can strike the final blow and complete my task. Okay. How do I open the portal? Four statuettes in the temple must be turned to the correct pattern. I don't know the pattern. Golems are not permitted to open the portal. How do you know you can defeat the demon? Not I, then who else? Not me. No living being can destroy the demon. That is why the golems were created in the first place. Demon was badly wounded, and elder demons heal very slowly indeed. It was almost dead when it retreated to his dimension. Read the letter. Dearest farm, and I hope this finds you well. Here are the books you asked for. And an exciting development closer to home. Another city from the same period has been discovered east of Verak. We're starting a huge excavation project here. I don't know if the museum will be able to finance your expedition as well as this one. Here your current trip will be the last. May Sarah Delman Green you a safe journey home. Alyssa. Books in here then? I was like, there's a thing that I can do over here with a phoenix feather. I'll try to do that real quick. So many goats. Grab feather, desert phoenix. You did a medium task in the desert area. Man, I really like the achievement diary. It's exactly what I was talking about, of wanting to do a little bit of everything in the game. I can't, I'm not going to commit to it now, but... We are definitely going to do all of the easy and medium diaries. I think hard is when the skill requirements start to exceed what's required for the quest cape. But easy and easy and medium is going to be some future session that's for sure going to happen. Climb down the staircase. Spooky ghosts in here. Pick up two black mushrooms. One for this quest and one for its sequel. 
and head to the northwest corner of the room and pick up the strange implements. I like the um, Rune Light has a custom skybox for every map in the game, whereas OS Buddy was just bright blue all the time. I think this one's supposed to be black. It looks like I'm in the same zone as whatever this uh, Runecraft altar is. It's the draw distance, getting you in trouble. Let's pretend like I didn't see that. It's also used during the next quest, so keep it as well. Go to the dig site. I'm supposed to have a shortcut to the dig site. I definitely don't have it yet. I'll let me refill my water skins, I guess. Water skin. Whoa, that's a big spider. Hold up. That was dramatic. <laughs> Ended up unplugging the HDMI cable in the process. It ran under the HDMI cable for the capture card. Right on. It's dead though. Really big spider crawling on the desk. I like spiders. They keep other bugs away, but they have to stay in their corners and in their webs. If I see them in front of me, I gotta kill them. I'm a bad person. All right, let's continue this quest. Hi, Alyssa. What's up? On a letter in the desert with your name on it. On the ruins of Uzer. Wrote that letter to my late husband when he was exploring there. It was a great city as well, but the museum could only find one excavation, and this one was closer to home. If you're interested in his expedition, the notes he made are in the library in the exam center. In Varrock? I don't know where the exam center is, doesn't tell me. Exam center. Oh, goddammit. it! right in the dig site. Shouldn't have warped away. Farman's Expedition Notes. Read the notes. Okay, give my summary. Okay, uh, significant stuff so far. Uh, this guy's excavating the city. It's super old, super big. They were trying to build a ton of golems. Uh, they found symbols depicting the gods Ceridoman, Zamorak, Armadil. Also another prominent symbol that cannot be identified, so he sent to his wife to get a book on religious symbols. One identified symbol is that of the demon Thamaron, who was Zamorak's chief lieutenant during the God Wars of the Third Age. Ruins of Uzer and advanced human civilizations that have been destroyed. It's like I gotta step away from the quest for a minute. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. My wife is still on her uh, business trip to Las Vegas. She's flying back. And it wasn't a great time to keep playing on mute if I'm reading quest text and uh, doing a quest, so. I guess if that ever happens in the future, I might take a break in the middle of a quest to go do something grindy. So I'm at least using the time. I mean, from your perspective, no time passed, but it was like a 40 minute call. Totally could have been fishing or cooking or something. It's fine. Um, it's just the nature of RuneScape, right? You got to you gotta multitask as much as possible. All right. So what we've gotten from the rest of this book is that uh, the golems, uh, the Church of Ceridoman is not a fan of them. They think that they're unnatural. That they're just like robots, they just obey directions, and you can override their directions by using a uh, papyrus with a naturally occurring source of ink and the tail feather of a phoenix for the pen, which is why we collected that earlier. So, we're going to override the instructions on the golem, it sounds like. Uh, it sounds like we have to go to Varrock Museum to get something, so I'm going to go do that now. Talk to the curator. Welcome to the Museum of Varrock. Looking for a statue I'd recover from the city of Uzer. Very impressive artifact. People of that city were excellent sculptors. It's in the display case upstairs. No, I need to take it away with me. What do you want it for? I want to open a portal to the lair of the Elder Demon. Good heavens, I never let you do such a dangerous thing. Steal a tiny key. Cool. Oh, is the, the collector might be the person I get my collection log thing from. Let's see. Beautiful, isn't it? Wonders right here in this museum. Put it from all corners of the land. A record of just about everything that I find. Would you like one? Yes, please. Cool. Thanks, Collector. Guy is crazy looking. Cool. Clues. Hostess is only showing me, like, interesting things that I got. I guess this Adamant Helm. Forgot I got one of those. Ancient Page. Charge Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll. Okay. Shades of Morton. Lame Tear Bag. Fine Cloth. Amulet of the Damned. Alright, this is cool. Everything from Rogue's Den. Chompy bird hunting. It's a lot of hats. Rooftop agility. Yeah. 
This is pretty cool that this is actually in game. Keep seeing screenshots of that thing on uh, Reddit, which is what was confusing me. Where is that in game? The first row display cases and the fourth case when you ascend the stairs. Fourth case from the stairs, I guess. Oh, that's really cool that they have custom art for all of these. I'll have to go back and read through all these eventually. That's really neat. Statue was found in an underground temple in the ruined city of Uzer, which was destroyed late in the Third Age. It represents one of the clay golems, the craftsmen of the city built as warriors and servants. Cool. Statuette. Make sure you have the required items. Vile, pestle and mortar, statuette, black mushroom, strange implement, papyrus, phoenix feather, chisel and hammer. I don't have those two. Hammer. DLQ Go to the middle, use the statue in the empty alcove. Oh, I don't even notice those alcoves. That's cool. Turn all of them to face north. That's cool. Go inside. Wow, this place is scary. Hey, skeleton. Oh, the demon didn't survive after all. That's cool. Wow, this is a, This place is metal. I like it. Use your chisel and hammer on the throne to get six gems which you can keep. Oh, that's cool. I don't need this water anymore, then. I have enough free space to remove all gems. Pry the gems from the demon's throne. It's a hell of a map. I like how there's just no music. He's just dead. It's great. Task is complete. You must open the portal so I can defeat the great demon. It's okay. The demon is dead. The demon must be defeated. I don't understand. I saw the demon's skeleton. It must have died of its wounds. The demon must be defeated. Task incomplete. You must reprogram the golem. Okay, so... Crush the mushroom. Pour the juice into a vial. Use the phoenix feather on the ink to make a pen and the pyrus to write a golem program. Oops. Oops. You write on the papyrus, your task is done. Use the strange implements to open his head. Oh, that's cool. New instructions, updating program. Task complete. Thank you, my mind is now at rest. A thousand crafting XP, a thousand thieving XP, and a quest point. Cool. Let me see if I can go back in and get my water skins back if they haven't despawned yet. They may have. Still there, at least for now. That's probably fine, because I don't need the Shantae Pass. Let's think. And then we've got another quest to do here called Shadow of the Storm, and I think after completing that... No, we still have to do Gertrude's Cat after that to do another step of Recipe for Disaster. We should be able to do all that in this episode, though. Quite easily. Okay, so we need silver light, black mushroom ink, silver bar, pestle and mortar, black outfit. Huh. I guess that armor I've collected, maybe? Black cape, my count. Black plate legs, black robe. Let me just search black, it might be easier. Black gloves, would those count? Two Shantae passes. Don't need those. Ability to defeat a level 100 demon. Can I safe spot it? Alright, it is not safe spotable. Ooh. But I think we should be able to do it. After you start, what are Uzer Pass, Shantae Pass? Oh, I should have just brought it with me before. Oh well. Black cape counts, black gloves count, black robe. Bring another black thing just in case. I wonder if the robe's outfit counts, actually. Oh, actually, no, it starts in Alcarid. Okay, so I'm not going that far out of sorts. Get some more water skins just in case. Alright, off we go. 
Talk to Father Reen. Excuse me, I'm looking for Melalai. I have an urgent job for her. That's me. Oh, wait. That's me. Thanks, Sarah Noman. I found you. Do you still have the magical sword Silverlight? Sure do. Urgent task only you can do, and only with Silverlight. Partner Bad and I have been observing the Dark Wizard, Denneth. I believe in preparing to summon forth the powerful demon, Akrath Nar. A week ago... If a group of apprentice dark wizards and moved to Uzer, the lost city in the desert. I think he's going to be using the city's ancient temple to summon the demon. I mean, stop him? Stop him? No, we want you to wait until Agrathnar is summoned and then kill him once and for all. He's not an ordinary demon. He has immense magical powers. He can use these powers to influence the mortal plane. Summonings are a chance to rid the world of his evil forever. Go to Uzer and find Baden at once. Follow once I finish some business here. Okay. Talk to Father Baden. What's up, dude? Where did you do this godforsaken desert? Green sent me. Sarah, don't want to be praised, and you have Silverlight. You're willing to help us then? Tell me more about Agrathnar. Not so much a demon as a force of nature. While he's in his own dimension, his evil magics can reach everywhere in the world. No one knows how far his power extends, but Green and I believe that much of the suffering in the world is due to him. The accent that cripples a man, the storm that sweeps a ship under the sea, the sudden fire and the blood that makes a wolf pack attack a town, all of that is Agrathnar. Tell me more about Denath. Keeping an eye on Denath for some years now, but we haven't been able to make a move against him. Part of the group that summoned forth Delrith, but he left Varag before you arrived and defeated the demon. He's been studying Agrathnar for years, but when he brought his group here, he knew he was about to make his move. Why does he come to Uzer? The city's very ancient, and its builders were powerful workers of evil magic. Oh, construct? You mean the golem? Abomination in the eyes of Holy Ceridome, and a mockery of life. The golem wasn't created to f was created to fight a demon. You're on the same side. Thousands of years ago, a demon attacked the city, but the golem army drove it off. When I last came here, I opened the portal, and the demon was already dead. It had died of the wounds the golems inflicted. You opened a portal to a demon's realm? That must be why Denath is here. Uh, great. So what do you want me to do? Be in a position to kill Agrathnar as soon as he's summoned. The best way to do that is to infiltrate the group that's summoning him. How can I do that? I don't know. You'll have to find some way to convince him you're one of them. Okay. Try to enter the demon's lair. A little bit nervous about this fight coming up, so I'm going to have to, like, super prep for it. I'll probably bring all those... Uh, Swordfish that I just caught. Evil Dave. Hey, he's the guy that I'm trying to rescue for Recipe for Disaster. I'm gonna join your group. You know, one more person now since, um... But we're an evil group. To join, you have to be evil. I'm evil. You don't look evil. You certainly don't dress evil. I'm evil in disguise. How do I dress evil? I wanna join your group. I'm evil. Yeah, I can see that. That outfit is totally evil. Marty, you're not a graceful kitty. You should get down from the counter. What's with that sword? It's far too shiny to be evil. You won't have any silver glowing swords in here. Oh. You have to sigh your, dye your silver light sword black using the black mushroom ink. That's funny. Right on. I want to join your group. It's cool that you have to do that. I love that evil black sword. Take you through to see Denath. Like evil Dave. Out of all these people. Matthew, Jennifer, Tanya. Master, this person wants to join us. Indeed. We are one wizard short since Joseph ran away. Can you vouch for her? Yeah, she's totally evil. Thank you, Dave. You wish to join us? You've made a wise choice. When we summon the demon Agrathnar, he will grant all our worldly desires. An abyssal whip? A dragon chain mill? <laughs> To conjure these is trivial. I love that it's in-game loot that people want. That's rare. You will not need such weapons or armor, for Agrathnar will grant you the power of life and death over all creatures. So have every wish granted, and everyone who's ever wronged you will burn in a hell of your own devising. Let's see, what do I have to do? I don't want to give away that I'm a spy. Recite the incantation that will summon Agrathnar. So it's much like the previous quests. 
Kaldar, Camarinthum, Nahudu, Agarath, Nar, Taran. You also need to make yourself a demonic sigil to act as a focus of power. One of the group has the mold you need to make it. Continue with my preparations. Someone in here has a mold. Huh. Wait, don't ask that. You have a demonic sigil mold? Ah, so that's all you want. Here it is. Thanks. So we want to go to Zanaris. Okay, I don't need the black equipment anymore. So I'm going to try to have a svelte inventory here if I can. Looks like I need to use the silver light to do the finishing blow. But I can do damage with other stuff until the finishing blow. Zanaris. I keep forgetting that I have access to Zanaris. I should think about that more often. If I'm near a fairy ring, it's a really easy bank. And apparently also an easy um, furnace. Demonic sigil. Used for the summoning of the demon Agath Nar. Okay, I'm ready to pour it out in case shit goes south. Talk to Joseph, it says. Oh wait, no, not Joseph. Matthew. What's up, Matthew? You Joseph's replacement. You know what happened to Joseph? Deneth doesn't know this. When we joined him, Deneth told us we were going to learn all the secrets of demonic magic, but we still don't know anything. The others, they think they're terribly evil with their sigils and the incantation they learned by rote. But Joseph and I wanted more. We wanted to know how it worked. Joseph was more curious than me. Last night, he secretly read a book that Deneth was keeping from us. He didn't know he was awake, but I saw what happened. I saw him read it, then his face turned white, and he took the book and ran through the portal. Deneth was waking up, and he saw Joseph was gone. He went to the portal to look for him. Joseph didn't have money for the magic carpet, and he can't have gotten far in the desert at night without that heavy book. Or with that heavy book. He must have hidden the book somewhere in the ruins before Deneth followed him. If he could find it, we'd know what it was that frightened him. Okay, cool. Talk to the golem next, it sounds like. I'm just curious, does the quest log suggest this? Shadow of the Star. I should look for it. Yo. Good to see a friendly face here. The priest said nothing to me but get you away, follow construct. Poor guy. You see anything happen last night? Saw one of the men in dark robes run out of the temple. He looked very frightened and I feared for his safety. He was carrying a large book. He started to head out into the desert, but then turned back and hid the book in one of the broken kilns. Another man came out of the temple. He said magical words and threw a fireball at the first man, turning him to dust. I should have saved him, but I was not fast enough to throw myself in the path of the fireball. Killed the hide it in. The shock of seeing a human being killed wiped the details of the incident from my memory. Bummer. Poor guy. Alright. Uh, search the kilns that are outside until you find a demonic tome. Find a book in the kiln. Okay, I'm back in here so that I'm not worrying about drinking water. I'm going to read it and give my summary here in a sec. Alright, so it's a priest of Ceridoman who got in trouble for reading books about demons because he wanted to know his enemy kind of a thing. Decided that demons are more powerful in their own realm, so he thought it would be a good idea to summon him out of his realm to make him less powerful. But then the incantation here is backwards from the one that I was given. For a magical occasion, with difficulty we imprison the demon. We are unable to destroy him, though we tried every physical and magical means. Last pages of the book have been turned out. So it's definitely backwards from what he said earlier. It's freaky deaky. Find a book. Golem saw Joseph hide in one of the broken kilns in the city. Deneth killed him. Oh no. I knew Deneth was a dark wizard, but I didn't think he killed one of his disciples. I look at the book. It's in here that Deneth thought was worth killing over. Joseph must have worked something out, but what? Look at the incantation in the book. The words are in the reverse order to the order that Deneth taught us. The incantation is backwards? Well, luckily the book has the correct incantation and the one Deneth taught us is backwards, but what does that mean? I'm happy about the ritual. I don't think Agrath Nara is going to grant all our wishes. I think he's going to kill us all. If I try to stop it, Deneth will kill me like he did Joseph. Don't worry, I'm here to kill the demon. This is the demon slaying sword Silverlight, the only weapon that can kill Agrath Nara. I think Deneth is nearly ready for the ritual. We must prepare. Time for the ritual to commence. Chant in the order he told you. Lead us in the incantation. Kaldar. Chant. 
Kaldar, Camarinthum, Naudu, Agrithnar, Tarn. That's the one that I got. Oh my gods! He disappeared. Where'd he go? Of course, how could he be so stupid? What happened? What do you get when you perform a summoning ritual backwards? Dennis with Agrithnar all along. We've just helped him return to his own dimension. Where he's at his strongest. That's a cool twist. Portal's closing. I'm getting out of here. No, don't leave. Who knows what Denneth can do now? I'm gonna perform the ritual again so you can kill Agrithnar, but we need eight people. You gotta get those three to come back, and you better take down the sigil and find one more person to help. Killed by a ghost. Talk to Evil Dave. Get him to stop. Eric's dead. Agrithnar killed him. That's evil. I mean, it's bad in a bad way. Gotta get back to the throne room. Portal's closing. We'll be trapped. Our only hope is to summon Agrithnar again so I can kill him, but I need eight people. If you can kill him, you better take this then. It was Eric's sigil. We're on the initial need one. Free some inventory space for a shoot. Because I can dump a swordfish. Father Bad and Father Rain will be there. Give them each a sigil. Hit by falling rocks. Rude. There's a crazy sandstorm out here. Cool. It's back in his own dimension. What can we do? Let's perform the ritual again so I can kill him. Can't take part in a demonic ritual. Don't be so simple minded. Did the world of great evil. Well, alright. Take the sigil and hurry inside. You get that water skin back now if I can't. Shit. Of taking damage now. Start dying of thirst while you're in the desert. Fucking great. Father Baden sent him back to his own dimension. Let me summon it again so I can slay him with silver light. Talk to the golem. Since great darkness of a demon reveling in its moment of triumph, and now the sandstorm appears, likes which I have not seen in 3,000 years. Terrible thing for a demon to be victorious. Which is something I do to rectify the situation. Help me summon the demon again so I can kill him. It's forbidden for a golem to enter the portal. I can reprogram you again. If you open my head and remove the instruction concerning the portal, I'd be able to help you. No, don't do that, you goof. I shall not enter the portal of Thamron and remove it. Perfect. Talk to him again. What I need to do, take this demonic sigil and go through the portal. Top off my health here. And I'm nervous. Gotta be ready to port out if things get... Things go bad. Talk to Matthew to get everyone to stand in a circle. I'm gonna do my best. Yes. Let me make sure I've got my quick prayer set here. Protecting from magic, I think we want. Man, heart rate's going. I'm nervous. <laughs> Chan, I do it backwards this time, right? Terran, Agrithnar, Nahudu, Camarinthum, Kaldar. How many people died in this quest, too? It's wild. Matthew! How dare you summon me? Oh, poor Matthew. That's sad. He didn't summon you. I did. Prepare to die. He tries to teleport me close to him so he can melee me, I see. I'm still the final blow with silver light. Attack him. Get him. Oh, your region's fast, shit. It's not good. Hope for the best. My max hit's pretty high. Get hit off already? Suddenly I can't land a hit for shit. There it is! Strike the final blow, Silverlight is drenched in Agrithnar's foul smelling ichor. He wipes Silverlight clean, but Agrithnar's blood is fused with the blade. You heft the sword and sense that it has become more powerful. You feel the power flowing into your arm. You can direct it in any combat skill. Who? Strength, attack, defense. Hit points, magic, ranged. It's a hard call. Defense is kind of annoying the level, I always want it. We ran out of prayer points, shit. How do I apply that? Whoops. Unequipping dark light will. Okay, strength, attack, defense. 10,000 XP. Defense needs 14,000 to level up. 
Let's do uh, let's do attack that lets me unlock new stuff. How much does strength need? No, let's do strength. That's more damage. Shadow of the Storm, one quest point, Dark Light Sword, 10,000 strength XP. God, that was, I think, the hardest fight I've done so far. I didn't have to use very much food, but now I kind of have a sense of when I'm expected to prayer flick, what that's going to be like. Advanced to strength level. And I'm close to 50. Cool. Okay. Well, what else can I do in here? Talk to Evil Believe. Thank goodness that's over. Goodness. I'm trying to not be evil anymore. From now on, I'm going to be good. Okay, that was fun. It's hard. I didn't need all of my swordfish, so I guess it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but... Still could have gone way worse if I didn't invest in getting all those, uh... Prayers, right? Okay. Let's go... I thought that's over. I need to do Gertrude the Cat, which I think is going to be a significantly more chill. I like that it's automatically dyed black as part of the quest. So when it becomes Dark Light, it makes, it makes some sense. So is Dark Light any good? Dark Light. It's got okay stats. Steel Longsword. But against demons, it's practically the same level as a Dragon Longsword with the same accuracy. That's cool. Okay. Stress is over. Let's deposit all this shit. Per potion, I'm glad I didn't have to use. It's the only one I have. I got it from a quest, so... I'll try to delay using it for as long as humanly possible. Get some money out. Get out my other runes. And then we're gonna go do Gertrude's Cat. Whew. It's only gonna get harder from there. It was not a particularly difficult quest, is my understanding. Okay, um... Gertrude's cat. I need a bucket of milk, a hundred coins, a seasoned sardine. Do have any sardines? Do I do leaves? I have one. Do leaves... Bucket of milk you can pick up from the... Aeromancer's chests, I think. Yeah, so I was worried that, like, my quest cadence was too infrequent for it to be reasonable for us to get the cape by the 400 hour mark. And I still think 400 hours is probably not enough. But these last couple sessions show me how many quests you can do back to back, especially once you've outleveled them a bit. I think 10,000 strength XP was still relevant. That was cool. Um. Ring of Karos we want for this for some reason. Bucket of milk. Third coins. I need to buy something in Port Serum, it looks like. I'm gonna do that Troll Slayer task. Well, I probably need to get easier enemies to finish off strength, but if I ever have to hit something with melee, I'll try to top that off. It's not too far from a level up there. 50 seems nice, right? Round number. Raw sardine can be purchased from Garrett. Who the hell is that? Fishy business. It's gotta be this one back here, right? There he is. Really like having the NPC names displayed. I could see it spoiling some things. It technically would have spoiled uh, Priest in Peril a little bit, right? But whatever. Season sardine. Okay. Head to Verok. South of Cooking Guild. Let's read this one here. Gertrude, what's up? Hello, are you okay? Do I look okay? These kids drive me crazy. It's just that I've lost her. Lost who? Fluffs. Poor Fluffs. She never hurt anyone. Beloved feline friend, Fluffs. She's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Please, do you go search for her while I look over the kids? Sure, I suppose I could. I have no idea where she could be. I think my son Shiloh and Willow saw the cat last. We'll be out in the marketplace. Barrack Square? Presumably that's where they mean. 
Shylock and Noel. Oh, weird names. Probably pronouncing them wrong. Hello there, I've been looking for you. I didn't mean to take it, I just forgot to pay. What? I'm trying to help your mom from Fluffs. Fluffs well, followed me to our secret play area, and I haven't seen her since. Where is the play area? I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret. Tell me, Sonny, or I will hurt you. I will make you tell me. A bit short on cash. How much? Ten coins. Ten coins? I'll handle this. hundred coins should cover it. hundred coins? Why should I pay you? You shouldn't, but we won't help otherwise. We never liked that kid anyway, so what do you say? Okay, then I'll pay. Where do you see Fluffs? We're in an abandoned lumber mill to the northeast, just beyond the Jolly Boar Inn. I saw Fluffs running in around in there. Oh, I guess it stopped being an abandoned lumber, lumber mill once construction came out, huh? Interesting. To find the broken fence to get in, I'm sure you can manage that. I think I've actually been over that thing before. Okay. Oh, there's a kitty in the crate. Several kitties in several crates. Search the crate. Find nothing. Hmm. Little yard and climb up a ladder. This one, probably. Gertrude's cat. Pick up. Hiss. Ouch. Maybe the cat's thirsty. Maybe the cat's hungry. Because it's picky if you just use a regular salmon, maybe. The kitten's mewing. Is there a beeping sound in the distance? I'm worried it's a... It's not like a smoke alarm or something. I'll be right back. It'll just be AFK rather than cut the recording. Low battery warning on our carbon monoxide alarm. Everything's fine. Back to the quest. Kitten's nearby. Find a kitten. You carefully place it in your backpack. Aw. Fluff's kit. How cute. Pick up the ladder and use your own fluffs. Or, yeah. Aww. Fluffs has run off home with her offspring. Okay. It's a short quest. It's worth a whole quest point. Man, I should, like, look up quests in order of duration and just do a session and knock out all the ones that are marked as short. Easy mode. Hello, Gertrude. Fluffs ran off with her kitten. We're back. Thank you. Thank you. Fluffs just came back. I think she's upset she couldn't find her kitten. She gives you a hug. If you hadn't found her kitten, it would have died out there. That's okay. I like to do my bit. I don't know how to thank you. I have no real material possessions. I do have kittens. I only really look after one. Well, if it needs a home. I sell it to my cousin in West Erdoyan. I hear there's a rat epidemic there, but it's too far after her and thank you again. By the way, the kitten can live in your backpack, but to make it grow, you must take it out and feed it and stroke it often. Quit fussy over cats. Can I pick my own? Oh, that's from the Ring of Caros. Okay, they're all just as cuddly as each other. Huh. The one that looks like Ben? Or Marty? Let's get that one. Seems fine. Gertrude gives you a kitten. And some food. Chocolate cake, a bowl of stew. Kitten? A, th a kitten! Exclamation point. 1525 cooking XP. Kitty. Talk to kitten. Hey kitty, what's new? Meow. Chase kitten. Oh, interesting. Interact kitten. Stroke. Cat sure loves to be stroked. Guess age. Age is zero minutes. Approximate time until fully adult, three hours. So you look after it. What does that mean? Okay, I need to read the guide about this really quick before we start the recipe or disaster quest. Kittens are pet cats that follow the player. First kitten's free after that's on her coins. Kitten can catch rats. What could we do with a cat speak amulet? What the fuck? Oh, it's a quest reward. Caring for a kitten. 
Kittens really need to be fed and interacted with out in the world, and not an item form in bank inventory. 24 minutes after the kitten is last fed, the player is warned the kitten is hungry. The kitten's not fed after 3 minutes, the player gets a second warning indicating it's very hungry. Then it is not fed within the next 3 minutes, the kitten will run away. Every time it's fed, the timer resets. Any raw or cooked fish that is not exclusively caught from barbarian fishing or aerial fishing can be used to feed a kitten. Oh. Sardines? You probably have a stack of sardines. I mean, I guess that's why they're teaching you about that early on. Okay, so I need to find out why I care. I mean, maybe I just care because it's a kitten and kittens are cute. What better reason to do stuff, right? Try feeding it now if I can. It's my shittiest fish. I think it's actually trout now, as funny as it is. Raw trout. Kitten gobbles up the fish. Fresh kitten can go without attention for 25 minutes before it warns the player that it needs attention. Its needs are not met after 7 minutes, it'll cry it's feeling lonely. If it doesn't get attention, it runs away and needs to be stroked. Wow, this is so specific. After a while, it grows into a cat, which no longer needs attention. Yeah, that sounds right. It abhors attention. It needs a ball of wool on it, which doesn't consume it. Aww. It's very cute. Kitten loves to play with that ball of wool. I think it is its favorite. Okay. So, am I just doing this in order to get a cat? And why do I want a cat? I only ask, like, I get that this game has cosmetic pets, but it seems like they added a lot of mechanics. Oh, players can sell their cats to civilians in Western Doyen for a hundred death runes. Oh my god. That's insane. I would love that. I can actually cast stuff that requires death runes. Increases to 200 death runes when the easy Ardoyan achievement diary is completed. Well, shit, we should do that. So it's basically like, I can get a new kitten whenever I turn in a cat, okay? So it's basically like a, like a paycheck. If you're paying attention when you're online, you can potentially get a, you can get 200 death runes every few hours or so. That's pretty cool. I like that. It also makes sense because they're trying to chase off the rats in Western Doyen, right? So it's not like... I, <laughs> I've seen memes on Reddit about, like, something about this game and killing cats or trading away cats or something. Um, and I had no idea what any of that was about, but I guess this must be it. Okay, so... Achievement Diary Reward. Let me make sure I've got some fish on me here. Make sure I definitely take care of this cat at least. Get that initial set. After I finish the our easy diary, we're not going to do that right away. Progress on the diary. Sell silk to silk trader for 60 coins. Go out fishing on the fishing trawler. It's a mini game, I think. I think you need to do it to get the fishing set, which I should probably do because it gives you more fishing XP. I have Tyndall Marchant identify a rusted sword for you. Use our Ardoin lever to teleport to the wilderness. So I did read about this. I don't know if I mentioned it. Um, when I was looking at the God Cape, that's right. You take that teleporter, it goes to the wilderness. It's kind of dangerous, but you do a quest there and you get a God Cape. Check what pets you have insured with Probita, like Probate and Ardoin. Rusty sword. Do I have one of those? I feel like I found one before. Probably dropped it on the ground. Do not still have one. I would have to farm one. Where do you get rusty swords? Ham guards. In combat or ham members. You may have heard I got a call from my wife. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this quest here. Evil Dave, what's he doing on the Secret Council? It's meant to include one dark wizard, but obviously the other members did not want to include anyone who was a real threat. How do I free him? For Evil Dave, you must make a stew, but it must be seasoned in a very particular way. The way to find the recipe would be to ask someone who's tasted the stew. 
Remember that from the point of view of the outside world, anything you do in here has already happened. All the people here are out in the world because from the point of view, you've already rescued them. I need to talk to Evil Dave outside the time bubble? Yes, he lives in Edgeville with his mother in her basement. I make no judgment about that. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna have the phone. Let's see. Inspect Evil Dave in the Lumberage Castle Diner room and start the quest, then go to Edgeville. Mm, quest guide says we want to have a fully grown cat for this, so that's going to take a while. I guess that's a good excuse to do something different while the quest is unlocked until the kitten levels up into a cat. Um, something that I can give it attention during, though. I guess I could do that easy Ardoyan diary. I was looking it up anyway. Let me try to find it back again real quick. I guess that starts with pickpocketing a rusty sword from a um, ham member, so I'll go do that now. Got enough stuff to keep the kitten happy in the meantime. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think I should just barely be able to finish this uh, this quest in this episode. So we should be running to what, 216? Yeah. And it's about 2.13, and it takes several hours for the cat to grow up. So we'll go over a little bit to finish it, but it seems like that's the tricky part. It's just having a fully grown cat. I feel like we should have done Gertrude's cat earlier. Could have gotten a lot of uh, rewards out of it for how many hours we play consecutively with a decent amount of attention due to recording. I wonder if that counts as eating. Well done, puss. You got it. Oh, we definitely, if we're pickpocketing, we totally want the rogue's outfit, so let me change out my gear here. One sec. Not going up to that shitty bank ever again, if I can help it. Even if it's almost exactly the same number of steps away from teleport. Hey, it's a genie. I gotta get back to the genie, though. Please get pick the lock in time. Working on it. Why did you have to come through the door? Oh my god, open the lock. It's gonna fucking despawn. I can feel it. I wonder if I leave, if I can get it to respawn. Talk to Genie. No! I just lost some precious XP. Oh, that sucks. If I had left the room sooner, maybe I would have gotten away with it. It sucks. Ah, <sighs> bummer. I guess it was only like a few hundred XP at best, so... It was that easy clue scroll everyone keeps talking about. Barbarian Village. Go do the clue really quick. Main thing we're doing is waiting on this uh, cat to age, anyway. Okay, so I gotta bring the stuff to High Alk in here. That would be a good idea. Go ahead and do this clue scroll. Bring my nature runes next time and a fire staff. I can alk all this shit. Because since it's trivial for me to get all that, especially now that I can steal double keys, um, I should just alk everything. I shouldn't be like, oh, I need to save the diamond necklace because what if I want to enchant it later? No, if I get the ability or I want to enchant stuff later, I can do that easily. And will do that easily. Want fire staff. And bullet of nature runes. And I guess I'll take teleport runes also. Gets me to Garrock. Pretending like that part of my inventory doesn't exist. Holy shit, Hosidious Kitchens, that, that's a jump from where we've been looking for clue stuff. Alright, we'll go do it. Just passing time, raising a cat. Get a big stack of sardines while I'm here, not have to think about it anymore. 
dump the mackerel, probably. I apparently thought they were going to stack, so I'm just going to feed it all these sardines. Whoops. There's a reward casket. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 3,000 coins. Garbage. Got another easy clue scroll right away. Seems to be the way to do easy clues anyway. Super fast. I think I'm gonna bail from pickpocketing these guys. They're effective, but like, I'm really tempted to use the keys. And the keys take forever, and that's not the reason we're here. We're not here to high alk a bunch of stuff. Although that's getting us a decent amount of magic XP. It's not great per hour, but it's not terrible either. Um, anyway, the reason we're here is for a rusty sword, so I'm gonna just pickpocket regular members. So we're gonna have more things competing on the loot table. It's the benefit with the guards is they don't throw you in jail like it just happened. So we'll see. Hey, we got it. Now we can get out of here. I'm gonna go to Ardoyan. Can't use that teleport at the moment, really. Why not? I can't cast it inside here, I guess. Oh, right, cool down. Oh, maybe it was just that area. This house should give me anxiety because it's, uh... It's the house that you start the Falador Agility course on. <laughs> Non-clinical PTSD, right? Ooh! Oh, I just got some of this stuff. Emerald ring, sapphire amulet, bronze chains, but... Entrance of the fishing guild. It's north of Ardoyan, isn't it? I think it is. To go there anyway for the diary. Sure it is, okay. Pretty sure I built the stash tab there too. So we got emerald ring for sure. Sapphire amulet for sure. Bronze chain bunny, possibly not. Nope. Where do I get one? Can I buy one? Do I have to craft one? There's one in Varrock. Orvik's armor shop. And that's like right over here. That's the guy. And I can stash it and not have to worry about it again. Oh, I'm so glad I built those stash tabs. Back to our domain. Hear those beeps again. I never did confirm. Well, okay. I'll be right back to check on it. I'm not going to split the recording. Man, that shit is whack. Uh, basically, we have this carbon monoxide alarm, and you can both plug it in, and it has a 9 volt battery. And I guess the 9 volt battery was dead because it had gotten unplugged. We plugged something else in where it was plugged in. So earlier when it was beeping, I just went upstairs, like, eh, I'll just. Uh, you know, make sure that it's plugged in, then it shouldn't care about the state of the battery, but apparently it did. So I had to pull the battery out and turn it off. Hopefully I just remember to actually fix it later. Thank goodness for fast forwarding. I need to be wearing this shit, don't I? There he is, my man. Very and Vera. What? This guy's such a weirdo. Now I will happily deposit this shit in the stash, that's so cool. I don't know why I like that so much. Kitty's hungry, here you go. More fish for it later. Cart in Port Cazard. The hell is Port Cazard? It's like, maybe closest to Yanil? All along the watchtower. After we finish this clue, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to do the Easy Ardoyan diary. 
Should be doable. Casket time, what we get, what we get? That's worth a bit more than previous easy blue scrolls. 146,000? What's worth the most money? The dig site teleport? Jesus, why is that worth so much? People pay money for teleports. Okay. It's fine, I'm not gonna question it. I feel like I could use those, but I could use the gold way more. <laughs> I'll just deposit it here and maybe find an excuse to sell it later. I do like doing clues though. It might be fun to do a session that's just nothing but easy clues. Uh, see what we end up getting. We luck out on. Okay, uh, our Doyen Diary. Sell some silk to the merchant. I think I have basically no other need for silk. It's come up in a couple quests, so I don't want to burn through all of it. Some of it for sure. Oh, let me just grab this guy's silk. Perfect. Needs to make it less effective that you can't just sell the silk to them here without moving, right? Generate a shitload of money. I'm so glad I have the characters' names above their heads. Shocking to me that games don't do that by default, but I guess I get it. Find silk from far away to sell to you. 80 coins. 15, that's my final price. Nope, that's not enough. Okay, so you have to haggle. 120 coins. 54. QT for 60. Try a hard bargain, but that'll have to do. Well done. Oh, and it sells him all of it. That's pretty cool. Okay. So that one's done. Tyndall Marchant. Probita is... Okay. Tyndall is where? Wait, he was in Port Cazard? God, shit. For some reason, I just assumed they'd all be here. Well, I can make the run there last. Oops. Probita. The pet insurance for hero. What pets have I insured? Check. Okay, they want you to see this pop up. That's a cool way to use achievements to direct you to content. Pretty classic thing to do. Fishing trawler. Is that in Port Cazard? It is in Port Cazard. Okay, so I can use the minigame teleport to go there. Last thing is to teleport to the wilderness. Don't feel great about that. Um, let me make sure I bank everything before I do this. Guess the uh, Mage Arena like allows you to teleport out. It's like it teleports you to level 51 wilderness. It's like, oh. Oh. That's not good. I do want to get that god cape at some point, but I don't want to risk anything. Maybe I need to do it at like 3 in the morning. This is a, this is a popular game. There's probably people. All the servers have a million. Maybe if I jumped on like a German server or something. I wish I had 2200 skill total. I wonder if I could do the dead man server. See, when does 1250 skill total happen? Maybe that's when I do it. I go on a German server, 1250 skill total think about it. I get my stupid god cape and then never go back. It's... I shouldn't plan on it because I'm not going to be able to get away with never going to the wilderness. I think there's clues I'm going to have to do that are there. There's just, there's a lot of stuff that's going to drag me there, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's just bank everything. I don't want to, I don't want to risk shit. I will bring runes to escape if I'm able to make it to the one place. West section of East Erdoyan. Just north of the gate, separating the cities. I have to buy new law runes soon. I guess I could crank out 12 levels of rune crafting. That's unfortunately not AFK though, that's actually quite at keyboard, unfortunately. I got a little transport icon, that's helpful. Oh, this little pepper will teleport you deeper into the wilderness. Oh, I need a slashing thing. Is there a knife near here? Spade. Be nice if there was one left on the ground or something. 
No such luck. I guess the purpose of the web is to keep you from running straight there. It's like make it possible for players to wreck you. Otherwise, you could just be ready to go and just sprint there immediately, right? I bet that's what the deal is. Like, why would they put all these webs here? How does German low pop world handle PvP areas? This is all the way at the top of the map. Oof. It's gotta be the major arena, right? Yeah, looks like it. Maybe it's through here, actually. That lever. I'll let out in here. Come downstairs if you want. Yeah, I think that Collodian guy is a dude that I have to fight in order to be able to get my god cape. It's a significant buff, though. Just all the teleport levers. There's a lot of them. Bank chest. What is this place? I am the great Collodian, master of battle magic, and this is my battle arena. Top wizards travel from all over Gale in order to fight here. Can I fight here? It is open to any high level wizard, but this is no game. Any wizards fall in the arena, never to rise again. The strongest mages have been destroyed. Are you sure you want in? Let me see. Uh, since there's a bank here, I'll be ready to warp if I need to. Major arena mini quest. <sighs> I'm tempted to try this. Let's just bring runes to run away if shit goes south, right? God, I hope I don't re regret this. Just bring as much food as I can here. I'm sure I got protection from magic set up. I'll just be ready to port if shit goes south. Get my ring too, I guess. So I don't have the graceful outfit, I can replace everything else. Which I wonder if I can bring the Ecto file, it'd be even better. I don't want to lose it. Alright, here we go. We must do it. Okay, let's fight. Prove yourself against me. I'm being quiet, even though the mic's on, because I'm super nervous. I'm ready to port if shit goes south. I know you can hit really hard, apparently. Like so. I wasted some from having the left click option turned off earlier. I'm so nervous. Shit could go wrong in any second. This is full on Dark Souls heart rate pounding. Keep my. Okay, we're we gonna. Is that it? Do we do it? Talk to Collodian. Hello, Collodian. Hello, young major. A tough one. What now? Step into the magic pool. It will take you to a chamber. Decide which god you will represent in the arena. That's what I'm here for. Energy rush through your veins. We're gonna go with Ceridomen, I think. Look at this, it's either Ceridomen, Guthix, or Zamorak, it says, and that they're all basically the same. There's a spell you can get by practicing it here. I have no interest in doing that for a long time. Uh, but other than that, the stats are all identical. It's just PvP differences, so we'll be a good guy. Ceridomen cape. Sweet. Cool. What do I do after that, though? Choose your gods, we're gonna pool. Head back and speak to the merchant to receive a god stab. Can I just pick up a shitload of these so that if I die and lose one later, I can get it back? It seems great. Big fan. I only had to use like 100 death runes, which hopefully I'll get back. Trade Chamber Guardian. Hi, you made your choice. I have. Hope you've chosen well. I will now present you with a magic staff. This, along with the cape ordered to you by your chosen god, are all the weapons and armor you will need here. Okay, and now can I warp the fuck out of here? Please. And never come back for a long, long time. Yeah, I can't believe I did it. I really... Wasn't planning to try. I was like, ah, eh, there's a bank here. I actually didn't know that there was a bank where I could prepare. My fear was that I'd have to walk all the way through the wilderness with my good equipment. But that's like my favorite color, blue. So another good reason to pick the Ceridomen cloak. Cool. And the reason we wanted that is because it has plus 10 magic and attack and defense. So this is the cape we want to use on melee and magic. It's better than the graceful cape in that respect. And I can get a million of them, so if I lose them, who cares? Awesome. Feeling pretty good about all that. Just deposit all this shit. I feel like I'm psyching myself up way too much for, like, reading the wiki, like, this is super dangerous, the enemy is level 100, you might need to bring prayer potions, make sure you've got plenty of healing. I'm like, oh my god, it's going to kill me. And then I get in there and it's like, oh, I still had like 20 items left. I think having protection from magic is a big deal. Like, even if I just leave it on instead of trying to flick it, it lasts long enough for me to do the bulk of the damage to these things, as long as I'm consistently recharging it, so I should just try to remember that that's the case. I don't need to panic so much. Alright, so if I want to do this mini game, I need to bring Swamp Pace Ropes.
feed the kitten real quick. And play with it. Kick. Fishing trawler. I don't know where I got these bailing buckets, but okay. <laughs> I'll take them. Bailing buckets. Get another anchovy for kitty when it gets hungry again. Let's try this minigame teleport. Oh, actually, let's switch my gear out too. I, that god cloak research paid off. I was super freaked. Super freaked. It was super freaky. Yow. Talk about something else. Good day to you, sir. Hello, my brave adventurer. What are you up to? I need to go fishing, of course. I got all the supplies I need from the shop. They know the pier. They sell good rope. Bailing buckets aren't too effective. Could I help? Of course you can. The seas are merciless. This is an out-fishing experience. You won't catch much. Fishing level 15 or above to fish on the trawler. These are the higher crafting. Also, a slight problem with leaks. Leaks? I think some swamp paste won't fix. I really like swamp paste. Fine, let's go. I'll try back in a few minutes. How can you be here and onboard the boat? It's game magic, dear. What? So maybe we'll see people pop out. Board the large ship north of Murphy. I'll give you a countdown. I can just stand on it, okay. Makes sense. Let's see if I can understand. Picking up a kid and reset the growth timer. Wow. To bank the cat. It's crazy that they track that. Try somewhere on a fishing trip. Try back in a few minutes. Do you think we just wait? Is that good enough? We may have just barely missed the boat. Let's see. Try to get them fishing kits though. Giant crowd of people joining it seems to suggest that we're about to do it. Also, holy crap, how populated is this game? This minigame alone, look, just old school RuneScape. Tons of people play this. I wonder how populated it is compared to, to RS3. This is our easy task. I think there's only one more easy task after this. I could have went and done it in Port Gazard while we were waiting, but I had no idea how long it was going to take. Use rope to repair the nets, use pace to repair leaks in the hull. Fill the water out as well. Oh, that's gonna make me sick. Uh, leaping up and down. God, does everyone just click it instantly? Oh my god, how can I even help? It's a lot of fucking leaks. Jesus. Swamp paste. Okay, so I cannot do it from the flam tier bag. There we go. I got one off. I guess the activity thing there is like so I don't get booted for not being able to do anything, maybe? Inspecting it's all I have to do, I think. Come on, rip net, where I get booted out. I'm not gonna get a chance to plug a leak, am I? This is crazy. I'm trying desperately to contribute here. Okay. Got one in. This is a mini game. Bail out the water. It looks like the bailing bucket is potentially useful. So I gotta do this like 40 times or something in order to get the full angler's kit. Cool. I wonder if it gives fishing XP itself. It's just giving some crafting XP right now, right? So people just go for a full bar and they stop contributing, I guess? It's crazy. This minigame is nuts. Not super sure on how the... Oh. Camera sway can be disabled using a button in the top right of your screen. That's what that is? Okay. I was to say, that's gonna make me sick. Jesus. That's much better. I already fixed the net, I see. So that consumes a rope when I do that. It's interesting, like, the wiki doesn't actually explain how any of this works. Like, it doesn't really explain bailing buckets. I think it just kind of assumes that you get it. So all the strategy is built around, like, trying to minimize the cost per run. Like, letting that thing fill with water and have everyone use bailing buckets and just plug leaks at the beginning. It's super interesting. I think doing this stuff with the bailing buckets itself. Yes, it's increasing my activity meter. I can just click the one over and over. Okay, so I think I grokked this game a little, a little bit better. I think you come in, you've got a stack of bailing buckets, maybe a couple ropes, and a couple of swamp paste to be able to get the minigame started. All these people are just trying to be as AFK as humanly possible, right? So it takes four minutes of inactivity for it to deplete from full to empty. I wonder if that means that when it's... Uh, does that mean that when it's full, you should just stop, maybe? It's full and there's less than four minutes left, can you just stop is the question. Total catch divided by the number of players in the minigame. Oh, maybe I'll get swordfish out of this, that'd be cool. So glad you can turn off that camera spike. That was... that was a thing. It just goes to show, sometimes, like, reading the wiki is helpful, sometimes you just have to fucking do shit. 
I'll probably have to go over a bit more in time because I lost, I don't know, 20 minutes not having the cat out with me. But that's okay. God, inspect trawler net. Look at all those players. Token staff, lobster, 13 swordfish. Bank all. I like that. Okay, well, I don't need to do that again right now, but maybe some future session we'll try to do that. Get my cat back out. I can find where I put it. And it did give me some fishing XP in the end. 901? So I have to run that. 11 times to level up. I don't know. Can you drop it, maybe? You know, interact to make sure that that works. Guess age. 1 hour, 19 minutes. 1 hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, it's going to mature at the cutoff time, and then I'll just have to finish the quest. It might take us over 30 minutes to an hour or so. That's okay. Whoa, these guys are dropping sick loot over here. So they don't want any of this? I don't have bank space for it? Interesting stuff. Okay. So, we had one more task to do. Ardoyan. Fishing trawler. Tyndall Marchant. Identify a sword for you. Where is this guy? Southern Dock. There he is. Gift sword. Well, I guess it's not guaranteed to be anything good, and then it doesn't count for the diary entry if it's not, so fingers crossed. Turn out to be a long sword. We completed all the easy tasks in the Ardoyan area. To two points at the Flying Horse Inn and are going to pay me reward. Sweet. Show him the other one, why not? Not to be a long sword. Okay. Um, two points. Flying Horse Inn. North of the castle. So the reason the reason we did that is once we have a cat, we can get 200 death runes for turning it in. Uh, it seems like managing the cat is a thing. It's a little bit more stressful than I imagined it might be. It's not a free... 200 death runes every three hours, uh, but it's still pretty good. It's something I might want to keep on top of until I have a good supply of death runes. So I'm going to want to use them for things like that boss fight. Like, probably not for skilling, but boss fight for sure. Two pints. So, look at all the easy tasks in my achievement diary. I can see that. Well done. Yes, please. Look, it's a symbol of your exploration of Ardoyan. The citizen of Mustard Ardoyan now buys cats for 200 death runes. 10% better chance of thieving from stalls. That's cool. Some drops in the Tower of Life will be noted, and it can teleport you to the monastery south of Ardoyan, too. Thanks. And what's the deal with the cloak? Ardoyan cloak one. Let's see what the stalls are. Silk, silver, fur, spice, gems. Thieving 20... Stall is leaving 50. Uh, fur stall 35. Spice stall 65. For spice gems. Gem stall 75. Thieving. Okay. So silver is the best I can do. I might go give it a try. I mean, why not? Right? What's, uh, what's a level 2? Ardoyan. Medium task. Unlimited teleports to the Ardoyan Monastery. Oh, that's pretty great. Unlimited? Or easy? Teleports? It's like right north of me, isn't it? Oh, even better, it's south. Okay, so that gets us to Port Cazard. It doesn't spend any runes. It gets us to this section of the map. Well, cool. Very cool. Okay, I got a lamp. We still want Herblur for the reasons I've given in the past. We hate Herblur. I can make prayer potions, which is really important, it seems like. I should probably make some. I know it uses Ranar Weed, but... Ranar Weed... Oh, snape grass. I'm shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Why are these the two most expensive seeds by, like, a fucking long shot? That is why. You need them to clear content. Because a prayer potion, I guess, is, like, seconds of invincibility in a lot of fights in this game, it feels like. Alright, well then, let's see. Medium tasks. Just out of curiosity. Three daily teleports to a farm patch. Free noted pure essence every day. Because I don't have to go to the... <laughs> Rune Essence Mine, that's cool. 10% increased chance to pickpocket an Ardoyan. Oh. Okay, so what do we got here? Enter the Unicorn Pen using Fairy Rings. Grapple over the wall. Harvest Strawberries. Cast Ardoyan Teleport. Travel to... Okay, so almost all of these require quests. But I meet the stat requirements for everything, except I need 49 crafting, 50 attack. So maybe once I get to that, I'll come back to Ardoyan 2 just for that pickpocket chance. Especially if there's like a, if there's a fucking master farmer in Ardoyan somewhere. Alright, well I need to decide what I'm going to do with my time here. I'll wait on this kit to grow and finish the quest. I, I think I'm going to go do Ranar Seeds. It's boring, but um, 
I'm going to need money later, and it will be easy for me to manage my kitten because I'm not doing something super complicated. So, let's go do that. Man, so like, something I love about this game, it's completionist dream in a lot of different ways, right? Uh, but like, just like, building all the stashes with construction, and filling all the stashes with the necessary clue items, even if you never get those clues, it just feels so cool to have all those items all over the game world, ready to retrieve in a moment's notice. Oh, it's so good. Let's see, 113 levels until 1200, and I can get on a local population server. Ooh. Leaving 54, that's cool. I don't actually know what that unlocks, so I'll take a look in a second. Nothing at 54. I guess a slightly higher pickpocketing success chance. But... So when we hit 55 thieving, uh, we still have a ways to go on the kitten. Should be in about 30 minutes or so, if I can keep this pace up. I would like to go on a tour and Stop being so scared of um, farming. Farming scares me for some stupid reason. I feel like I have so many stupid seeds now of plants that I don't care about that I could at least plant them all over the place just to kind of get over that fear of the unknown. I did a little bit of it in the Garden of Tranquility quest, but not enough to feel like I'm comfortable with the core gameplay loop for farming. So I'll just run around and plant some stuff and see what happens. Dry spell on Renar seeds is to pay for the back to back Renars we got earlier. I guess I'd rather have gotten the back to back ones when I was excited about doing something else. Now we're just literally passing time, so I'll take it as thieving XP. We gotta get thieving, I think, to like 70, right? Yeah, thieving to 70 anyway, so not a big deal. No, oh, I almost had him trapped! It's hard to click on the gate when he's in the way like that. Hey, thieving fifty-five. Didn't get a single red RC during all of that. Uh, I said I was gonna go for farming, but now I'm scared. Um, oh fuck it, let's do it. Didn't get a single red RC, but got two levels of thieving. And I think fifty-five is interesting? Question mark. Yeah, those are those bandits I tried to pickpocket when we went to go do the agility course. So. I think that they're important. I've seen this name before when talking about thieving, reading about thieving. I'll research it in a minute. I don't know that we can do what we need to do to pickpocket them right away though. Okay, so if I want to try farming, I'm very scared. Let me look at the skill guide and find out what I can and can't do. Strawberries. Payments. Apples. Five. I can do strawberries, maybe. Strawberries, wild blood, willow trees, apple trees, cadaver berry bushes, limpwort plants, or our weed. Yeah, we're not doing that. Plus, I completed Edgar's Roos, which we did. So maybe Harrowlander. Pokeberry, it said was good, I think. Harrowlander, cadaver berry. Strawberry seeds are rarer than I thought. I thought I'd grab like a bajillion of those. Um, let's we'll check. Willow seed, apple, apple tree seed. Strawberries requires apples in payment. Wild blood is, I don't know what that is. Little trees is apples. Apple trees is sweet corn, I don't know what that is. Blueberries is strawberries. All right, let's start looking for patches. Is there seriously not one near the fairy tale guy? The master farmer, the farmer. I know there's one in Catherby. I need to plant trees in a pot like I did during the quest, that makes sense. Do I still have one? I should. Empty plant pot. So I have to like use compost on it or something? Let's see. 
How do I get dirt to put in a plant pod? Hold on. Any farming pod this doesn't need weeding. Trowel? Oh shit. Okay, I guess that makes sense. This is this is what I, the kind of thing I was scared of, and now I'm starting to understand how it works. It's not that scary. And then water it right. Farming patch. Other ones in Verak, aren't there? I thought there were. I didn't know this farming patch thing to show you where all these things are. I did not know that was a thing. That's pretty convenient. Okay. Hops, bush, right by the ferry ring, huh? Let's just try to do all the ones that are close to teleports to start with. Tree. <sighs> do I need to protect the apple tree again? Let's see if maybe I can get my hands on that. Sweet corn. Plant sweet corn. Jute fiber. Or like jute fiber. I see. So the way this is supposed to work, you're supposed to make things that you use as payment for protection later. Pay Tresnor. Pay one basket of apples, yes. Well, the seed takes four hours, 40 minutes. So where are there other tree patches that I can easily get to? Bush, outside Lumbridge. So trees seem to give the best XP, but I'm still stressed. <laughs> Same thing, we gotta put dirt in there, the seed on there, and then water it. Okay, I see. And then I gotta get a compost. I guess I should be growing these saplings while I'm running around doing other stuff, but right now I'm not good enough with this to be able to even think about optimizing it. I could try doing some sweet corn so I can plant the apple tree seed. I don't wanna do it without sweet corns. So, I think I'm less stressed. I had to Google this because this is my big question about farming, and it was, and when I pay a person to protect a patch, am I... I was worried that that just meant that it would decrease chance of something bad happening, but if I'm understanding correctly, if you pay to protect it, it is guaranteed to reach maturity and survive until you come back to check on it, no matter how long it takes you to check, come back to check on it. I think that's true. I'm not 100% that that's true. But if that's true, then I can do this. It's my fear is that, oh my god, I'm going to have all these timers running at once. I'm not going to be able to keep track of everything. I'm going to get lost. That's what I want to avoid for sure. So if it's true that I can just go around and place all these things, and then when I remember, like, oh yeah, let me go do farming. Let me go check on my patches, you know. Tree patches. Oh, these two work. Oh, that's wonderful. Done Friday at 2.25 a.m., I assume. Yeah. Okay. This is, okay, this timer thing here is going to be necessary for me to be able to keep track of any of this shit. So, herb, herb patches. Herbs can all be Herolanders, I think. Yeah. And do I have enough seeds for that? Herolanders eat 20. I do. Okay. Ardoyan, Catherby, Falador, Farming Guild, Harmony, Corrind, Mauritania, Troll Stronghold, and Weiss. I don't think I can do the Troll Stronghold one yet. So let's do... Catherby first, why not? Hops, allotment herb, flower. So that means that I, there's multiples there, or that I can do all of them. Whatever, let's just go plant there. Okay, so let's see, what does Harlander require? Oh, maybe it can't be protected. Gardeners will not watch over your growing herbs. Interesting. Is this a compost bin? Is that what this is? It is been holding off and doing compost too because that's been stressing me out for stupid reasons. It's not going to watch over it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not like an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. So I have these timers in rune light and that's basically all I need to be able to keep my sanity with this. I need to try to farm willow seeds hard if I can. It might be easier said than done, but Oh yeah, they're an uncommon drop at best from things that I would struggle to kill. Whenever I get them, I should plant them though, I guess. I completely forgot to pay the farmer for the other tree and go do that now. Hey, Faith. Okay, phew, almost forgot. Perfect. Okay, um, I guess the benefit was strawberry seeds. I kind of want to plant those everywhere because I've got tons of these baskets of apples from... Stealing from fruit stalls. 
I want to do more fruit stall stealing later just to max that out. Farming is becoming less scary, mostly because of these timers. My big thing was like, I'm not going to be able to track. There's so many of these. How can I keep on top of them? They must have found a way to do timers without upsetting Jagex. Thank goodness for these tool leprechauns, too. Okay, so they'll only watch allotment patches. See, I'm learning stuff. This is the stuff that I wasn't sure about. They'll only watch certain kinds of patches. I assume the different compost bins are treated separately, not identically. So that all looks great. Please, the farming patch. Fruit tree, we're not going to do that yet. Hops. I'm not sure what the deal is with hops. Wellberry is the hop that I have. Wild blood. I don't have the thing to protect it. Sturtiums. Type of flower. Okay, so we might want to start growing those if I've got the seeds for them, and I think I do. So I'll check next time I go to a bank. I have so many of these seeds that it's basically costing me nothing, even if they get disease, I don't get around to visiting them. See, no compost patch here. Okay. Two flower patches. There's one in Ardoyan. There's a bunch of stuff in Ardoyan, I think. Okay, so those allotment herb flower ones, I feel like I could just do those without stressing about all the other variations. Maybe the tree patches also. They're nice, there's compost bins nearby. They're close to teleports. Very cute bin. I think this was meant to be the purpose of Garden of Tranquility, as it introduces you to all these different important patches and talking to the gardeners there, but for whatever reason I'm still freaked. Or I was still freaked after doing it. Okay, so compost bins are all treated separately. Got it. Should have brought an extra basket of apples here. Protecting my strawberries. That's okay. I didn't even know where the compost bins were. I kept reading about compost bins. I'm like, oh my god, is it like a mill like building or something that I have to find? Oh, well, it's at a couple of the special locations. Makes sense. Could be scarier. Oh, you put it all in at once, that's good to know. So I need compost times four. One basket of apples. And eventually I'll just memorize these costs. I guess I need to think about the protection costs as similar to like the rune costs. Because that's what that's what makes farming not free. You think like, oh you get infinite seeds basically from the Master Farmers. So there's no cost to doing it other than time. It's like, well, you can spend money on the protection items. And that creates a demand for those items, so I think it's kind of cool. I actually want to use Woad here. It's the flower patch. I want to use the flower that we need. More pro quick. Your kitten has grown into a cat! Fuck yeah! I think once it's a cat, I no longer have to worry about it anymore. So I'm going to go plant this last thing, and I'm going to go see if I can start working on the uh, quest here. Need to get some stew, so I can buy it in Ferrock. I've got a kitty. Aww. Ah, cat stroke. Kitty. It's sad that you're pretty heavily incentivized to turn cats into death rooms. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright. I'm going to watch the other one here. One basket of apples. Sturdy seeds. Okay, so those are going. Let me deposit my tools with Tool Leprechaun. And let's go do quest. And then we have a cat. Rat Pit Bar in Barrack. Which one's that? Southeast corner. Later on, I'll have to separate out the seeds that I care about. I think I can keep track of them for now, though. This part of it was so overwhelming, like so many different kinds of things to plan. I'm like, how am I going to pick one? Rat pit bar. Oh, it's down this hole. Got no business down there. Blue. So I have to unlock that or something? Oh, it's got a related quest. Okay. Sears Village, Forester's Arms. Get some of that stew, please. Oh, I forgot to bring. God. Damn it. Uh, I hate how I do that so often. Interesting. So this summarizes all of my farming timers and just tells me if any one of them is ready. I think is how I should be reading that. 
Okay. That's manageable. I can I can live with that. The keys are really bad. They're just opening and closing cabinets to make noise. Try to get fed again. Evil Dave's mother's house, because he lives in his mom's basement. Makes sense. She's got curlers in her hair. <laughs> Hello, dearie. Dave in? Can Dave come out to play? Down in the cellar, are you one of his evil friends? Yes, I'm evil. I hope the two of you have a good time. Try not to make too much mess. It's great. Oh my god. Okay, I guess this is why we need the cat, and why a kitten isn't good enough. Dave? Oh, I know where this is. This is on the other side of the Edgel Edge Dungeon, isn't it? Welcome to my basement of doom. Nice basement. Nice. I mean evil. You just summon demons to do my bidding or raise an army of the undead. I'm gonna like totally take over the world. What did you eat at the secret council meeting? I'm sure I'm a great dark wizard, right? Right. You know what I ate? I need to make that exact food in order to save you from the Colonomancer's spell. That was last week. You already saved me. From your point of view, I've saved you. From mine, I haven't. I take the food back in time to give it to you. So you got because the magic requires it. That makes perfect sense. So what was it? What was what? Food you ate. Oh, it's totally evil stew. How is it evil? It tasted evil, you know? You taste something and you think that's really evil? She makes me have good and evil again. <laughs> Describe it in more detail. It tastes like the stews my mom makes. She puts these spices in them. I got the amount's totally right this time. Talk to your mom. Doris. Hello again. Maybe your spices are making stew? Maybe if you can find them, hell rats ate them. Go kill some hell rats, which I think I need. Oh, that's why we need Gertrude's cat. Orange spice. Okay, so the wiki says there's all kinds of different colors of spices. You can have between one to six doses of each color, and you just need to try each one and see if he likes it or not. It's orange. I taste the stew, please. I taste nothing like the stew I tasted. All the spices are wrong. Okay, so this could take a while, and we probably need way more stew. One red spice one. God, kitties! Stop slamming the cabinets open and close. It's a real dick move. Taste the stew, please. Got the right amount of one spice, but the others are wrong. Okay, so one red locked in. I don't need red anymore. All four of the spices, different values between one and three. Let's see if two orange is right. I need to bring more stew with me. Eight's not gonna cut it. All the spices are wrong. Let's try three. Fuck, I'm eating the stews. God damn it. Three to orange. And yet, figure out yellow and brown now. Brown spice. Oh, brown one. Okay, maybe we'll look out and the last one will be one. Need yellow now. I just need to pick these up because I'm gonna need them to make the perfect stew. Oh, my cat became a Hellcat. It's funny. Eating too many of these. And horrible rodent slain. Yellow spice. If I get lucky, it's only going to require one. Probably not, though. And if I had had an extra stew on me, we would have been fine. Son of a bitch. All the spices are... Okay. I know the final thing. If I hadn't have eaten the one stew, we would be done. I gotta go get another stew now. I gotta walk all the way the fuck back. Frustrating. Because I should catch the amounts that I need first before I get... Before my cat gets too fat. Yellow, three orange. Actually, I'm lucky. I have a single stew remaining in the bank from Gertrude's cat quest. And there's a bank right outside here. So I should be able to just make the stew and get out of here. I need to get some more orange spice though first. There's orange. Oh, I need a total of three. Shit. I keep thinking that I can like do stuff while I'm waiting for the cat to grab things, but I think it locks me. Spice. I need one more orange. Any dosages. There we go. Okay. Stew. Oh, I had two. Alright, well I'll grab both of them just in case I fuck something up. I don't know where I got the other one from, but it works for me. Okay, so it should be should be one red, three orange, one brown, two yellow. Taste the stew. Totally evil. That's exactly how it tasted. Don't eat it all. Go back in time and give it to your earlier self. Why can I eat it? You've already eaten it. This is the stew you remember tasting in the first place. Gosh. That's funny though. Like, he'll eat the whole stew and it's bad. Right, don't accidentally eat it. That would be awful. Evil Dave. You stew on evil. Oh, what happened? 7,000 cooking, nice. Stew from a buffet worse than death. It's a pretty evil stew. 
important you remember what this dude tasted like. Why? Because it just is. Okay. <laughs> Ability to make spicy stew, own a Hellcat, more access to the Culinary Mancer's chest. Three counts of Mancer's left to protect. So Lumbridge Guide is next, and he needs which is house quest and a couple other related quests that we'll do next episode. Basically done, basically done now. Um, ready to call it. I might go check on these herb, the flower patch that's going to be ready soon. Be silly to it. Kick off four minutes and have it get disease tomorrow. So you got new gloves, also super cheap, so I just may as well buy them. Better than the black gloves. So the one that's almost ready is Catherine. Now I've got a Hellcat, which I don't know what the benefit of a Hellcat is. Dead Woad Plant. Well, didn't really have a lot of time to save it. Spade to clear farming patch. Dead. Do I get a bonus for trying? No XP. Oh, I didn't bring my seeds for Catherine. It's fine. We'll worry about that later. 2310. Trees. Fruit trees. Hops. Artillion. Go check on it. Maybe we'll get to it before it dies. That looks not dead. Oh wow, perfect timing getting over here. Why did I need that again? Sturdy ammo. Wild blood hops. Getting the hang of it. Oops, not that was the wrong place. Gotta buy law rune soon. Add on to my debt. Alright, so I'm gonna go pay to protect the wild blood hops, and then we're done. This is a productive session though. Got a bunch of skill ups actually kind of understand farming now. Less terrified of it. Farming was really miserable for me before. I just didn't want to think about it. Yo dog. How do magic secateurs work? I know they're supposed to be useful for something. Increase the crop yield of herbs, allotments, grapevines, and hops by 10%. Higher quality herbs from herbivores. Go away beekeeper. Way to not be a genie. Like that genie I had missed out on before. I think I've missed clicking two genies now. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, uh, go to a pink. Save the game and sign out. Actually, I want to bring that spade back out because I think I need to deposit it back with the gnome. Or the leprechaun. Okay, thanks folks. Uh, next episode, we're going to wrap up the quest prerequisites to save the Lumbridge Guide and then do his recipe for disaster step. The other two steps we're not going to be able to do for a very long time, but that will get us kind of sort of 80% of the way there. 60% of the way there, three quarters of the way there, a lot of the way there. Thanks, we'll see you next episode, bye.